Hello everyone and welcome to Vesper Storytime. Today we're going to be... <clears throat> sorry, the it's in my throat. <laughs> we're going to be going on to the Chapter 3 trial, where we try to bring justice to this room. Poor Hifumi. And there's a whole bunch of weird, wacky stuff happening with this. I don't know. We're going to see how this how this uh, plays out. Yeah, today we made homemade pizza at home. So delicious. So good. All right. Now I did. Sorry, I totally forgot to go into the Monokuma store on a couple days off there, <laughs> and or I guess my one day off, Monday. I had Tuesday. So on lunch hour today, at, while at work, I kind of <laughs> quickly went in and spent a bunch of coins. But we should be good going for it. pizza is all well, nice. Homemade pizza, oh my goodness. I enjoy homemade pizza just for the fact that I can make it how I want it. With the right amount of toppings, the right amount of cheese, all that stuff. I always get annoyed going out buying like Deliso pizzas or whatever else and Sure, they got some toppings on it, but I want nice, thick toppings. It's cheap? Well, exactly, and you can get pizzas pretty cheap nowadays, too. Alright, increase the focus gauge by five. Uh-huh, whatever. Okay. Decreases more slowly during concentration and fever time. During the non-stop debate, the hangman's gambit, and the bullet time battle. I see. I have no clue how I use these skills either, so. <laughs> pizza Hut Pizza, I don't really care for, but it's half off. Okay, I haven't had Pizza Hut Pizza in a long time, to be honest. Ooh. But did he actually die? Yes. He woke up from the tears and then died. After he said that it was Hero that killed him. But Hero says, no, man, it wasn't me. Okay. Let's yeah, he, begin he kind of with just... a basic <gasps> explanation it of was the him. past trial. Oh. So, your votes will determine the yeah. results. It looks like he was hit on the head again. So I, I don't know. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one... So I'm just curious how this whole robot suit worked out because obviously if Fumi and Hiro were in on on the whole robot suit bit but that doesn't necessarily mean that they killed anyone or unless they killed Taka and then Fumi was killed by someone else I, I don't know then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Yeah, because I'm 100% certain that the, when Hifumi was in the nurse's office, we went there and there's blood everywhere, that he wasn't actually dead at that point. Either there was fake blood on him, so he appeared dead from the nurse's cabinet storage there, because right to the side it shows that there's blood packages there, or it wasn't enough. So he kind of got up, cleaned up his glasses so he could see, and then wobbled to wherever. But that was pretty quick. So I'm, I'm guessing that they, that it was a prank, bro. It was a prank. He didn't actually die. We're gonna hit at that point. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? It was Hiro. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Who are you calling a murderer? Okay, phone's on silent. I am perfect. sorry to say, Hiro, but we do have evidence. Yeah, she has an odd accent, which is why I just went to this one. So, so it is a bit more consistent. <laughs> well, it's kind of like hers, but uh, yeah. Blueprint for the suit. But that is, I, I don't know. It is a bit like this. I, I don't know. I, I found what I was trying to do it. 
French, German, and Romanian. Yeah, it's a combination of different things. Knees, short. Flex. Perfect fit. Have the arms like this. Hmm. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. See, but that's the thing. His handwriting is a lot different. How so many times do I have to tell the you? Suit. I, I. And the clasp has to be done from outside. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. At least we progress some stupid, stupid, stupid. Or anything else, we have to make that clip. A hero. Either is or isn't. Let's make your argument. Yes, hero is missing. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints. Wait, what is Yashiro's message? Okay, yes. Remarkably neat and clear. Blueprints. That you are the culprit. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Blueprints, that handwriting is awfully messy. If I remember right, Hero's handwriting is... <gasps> Everything so we found Oops. in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff! Oh, fine. It's not true! I guess it's, it's a conspiracy. the blueprints. That's the one I need to. Hero, why? No! Oh. Just hold on a second! Everything we found in your room, the blueprints, the suit parts, they are all that you are the culprit. Son of a gun! It's not true! It's Hero, why? No! Just hold on a second! That purple Everything writing came up too room. quickly. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are... Oh, no, I almost what? hit it too. Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? I gotta say, that handwriting is so nice. I'd love to have a handwriting like that. Mine's closer towards this, except a little worse. <laughs> There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, we would disguise no it that much. the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hero is innocent as well. What? Mm, yeah, but who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. <laughs> and of course he passes off. So? Him. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? Aka. The Illuminati. Hina. Hero. What? A Hina. It have been Hina. She tried it on. I got it! Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense! You just said Hero didn't do it! <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. He's the prime suspect, yes, but that doesn't mean that this is prime suspect did do it. So what you're saying is... He was set up. That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo-Justice suit. What? 
Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would the seem wheeling. that his corpse was moved using certain particular and items. Tar. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? I think they were used to Taka's body. They must have been a blue tar and the repository doll. I got it! So one more thing. I got it! They were a dolly and a tarp, right? He seems upset. That's what that is. So uh, let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room, and then we rediscovered it in the repository. Unless he wasn't expecting me to know that. He's like, how did he know? Gah, curses! And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. Good, good. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Have you ever tried to carry a dead body? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. And there's the wheel tracks in the blood. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the dolly. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was body. made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not oh. possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? There is no <laughs> shame in being wrong. Nobody expects much from you anyway. Ooh, we have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. I think I spent all that time befriending her. <laughs> I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. Maybe I can change her mind. I just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. Would you like- oh my gosh, another new element! Ah! I keep adding more and more! Talk about reloading. Oh dear lord. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statement. From now on, just locking on, pressing the Y button won't be enough to handle. Now it'll cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. If you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by pressing the X button. It's like locking on, you'll have to press the X button in time with the tempo. Oh my god. I said, just remember that the X button now has a function along with the A and Y buttons. So I'll have to be sitting there, A, A, A. Y, A, X, A, X, oh my god. Automatically reload at the start of fever time, and your ammo will not decrease. Ah, uh, I have to remember how to do fever time. Yes. Oh, but if your action difficulty is set to gen- Yes, okay, we know. I'm not gentle, though. A, A, A! X. Exactly. <laughs> In which case, you can ignore everything. Whatever. 
Well then, good luck and have fun! The moment of truth. You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! Away with you! You miserable wretch! Oh god! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Oh, let's try. I cannot agree! This should prove it! Okay. <laughs> I totally forgot about pressing all the buttons. I don't remember what to do to break through go into the fever mode. Ah! If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body hey, out of the room. I gotta say, this was... What is right? Where were you? I mean, I, I start. I, I waited in my intro stream. <laughs> How's it going? Someone moved the bodies. Someone. They only stream tomorrow. Nope. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Today is Wednesday. Like what Bates said. Down there. Whee! Yeah, no. So, yeah, that is true. Sometimes there's the bonus streams where I'll do an extra one. But that doesn't it's not something that will is going to be every single week. It just I feel like streaming extra today. And nobody else is streaming, so sure I'll do it. Because if bait's going to be on on like like last Thursday there, I decided eh, bait usually streams on Thursday. I'll, I won't stream. I'll try to make sure nobody else is on before I go on as well. But other than that, it's, it's mainly these three days. And then yeah, and that, that's really about it. But glad to see you're here. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. You didn't really miss much. We, we just started, they got into here, and we've decided the hero can't be the person who did the murders. Sure that he's the guy in the robot costume, but he couldn't have been the murderer. For whatever reason. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. And now, so we're going back, it's like, okay, so let's get everything all in a row so that we can say why it couldn't have been him. And for one, based upon the sketches, it has very, it's only movable pretty much in the knees and the arms. So you can go, mm, mm. <gasps> you've been spoiled by a viewer. What happened? Somebody whispered to you and they're like, hey, what happens? <laughs> Does really hate me that much? Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get oh, back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo <laughs> Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then. I mean, bait and. <laughs> You know, he, sometimes he just can't control himself, and Cheese, you know, you never know with Cheese. He says some truths and some lies, so it could be false. <laughs> what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy Raven. to explain why the occupant of the suit Raven. couldn't possibly why? be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. I think it may have been because you were saying some rather on-the-nose things the previous night. So he might have thought that you did know, and he's like saying not to spoil it. <laughs> when I look at how the body was moved, it'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it. What do you mean by that? Spoil with anything you'd be able to pick up. 
Perfect. Yeah, that, that we all know sometimes I'm just silly and I miss the silliest things. As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. No! And from there, the body was moved to the repository. I wanted to go look at the... No one but Yashu could fit in it. In addition, anyone wearing it would not be able to see their feet or bend at the waist. That's the important thing. One character is the best girl, so cheese. Most like puzzles and <laughs> Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? That's probably the now, one I... Right. keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. <laughs> it's all well, shaking yeah, there. <laughs> but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. No! You cannot yeah, bend over! Wrong. Don't even need to listen to You're the rest of the argument. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? I'm blind as a bat in here. I can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. Darling, you it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist! Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. <laughs> Just sort of kicking well, it. Well, yeah. what's to stop you from yeah. simply pushing the dolly with your feet? Hey, Lockity, how's it going? Welcome. Hope that your day's been going well. What you been up to? Oh, so this is actually making that argument. Why are you not pushing the dolly with your feet? When you can't even see your feet? You really <laughs> think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Mmm, that's a good well, point I as well. Mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? You cannot, because there's a latch. Go on, well, haven't done much, what about me? Well, I'm glad to hear things are going well for you. Made homemade pizza today myself. For the family here. Oh, delicious. We're talking like fresh, br uh, like actual made from scratch dough. And then uh, it was store-bought sauce though. Uh, redeem sauce. <laughs> and then add some pepperoni, some salami, garlic, sausage, peppers, garlic, cheese. Sadly, I didn't have any olives though. Yes, babe. You were talking about how you have pizzas as well. What's everybody's favorite toppings for their pizzas? Best cook and Chinese cartoon game streamer. Hey! <laughs> yeah, there's a. I do a lot of visual novels, it's true. <laughs> and yes, you know, garlic sausage. Usually we have that with like crackers and cheese. But it actually went well, quite well on the pizza as well. A lot of meat. I like meat on my pizza. And there's this one place in Saskatoon, uh, Saskatchewan here in Canada, that there's a pizza place called Vern's. And they pile their meat up like. Literally, this high. It's at least an inch. It's crazy cold cuts. It, it's ridiculous. And it's a huge pizza, too. So good. I don't live in, in there myself, no. I, I'm in Manitoba. There's no chance the customers take it off to move it well, because you can't take it off yourself. <laughs> Once it's on, you can never take it off. <laughs> I got it! I don't think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? Didn't make that stupid freaking thing. Asp on the back is keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. You don't really have a choice. Let's help them. That's true. 
It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then... you really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Uh, of course I wasn't making it up! If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Let alone be stuffed inside a locker. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right! So... It's really, really true that Robo-Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? The traitor, remember when she said she didn't do anything? So, see, I don't... I think she has something more to do with this murder than being an actual traitor. Because this is confirmed there's only one Robo-Justice... Hero is in Robo Justice, and he couldn't have moved the bodies or anything. And she's the one who's running around. Oh, he's over here! Oh, he's over here! He's on this floor! Drawing us around, so. Either she's helping someone for some strange reason, which doesn't make sense. I think she was perhaps helping a murder, and then she killed. Because it's Taka Hifumi. And this is all about alter ego. It could be that one of them, the murders keep happening. I wouldn't let it get to the child. I'll just kill them all. You see, that's true. Until uh, Monokuma introduced that rule where you're allowed no more than two murders max. Same, it's true. But then the game would be over too quickly, and that's the problem. Monokuna loves that. Sakura could take us all here. You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? See, that's the interesting thing, though, because of this. So. If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, making it up? do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? How did you get hurt? That guy hit, that guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Er, that's why I decided to call him just now. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. that's gotta be right. <laughs> Hold on a second! It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? <laughs> and that's not what Celeste Instead wants. Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. I, I still think if someone killed someone and then they took someone killed someone, that other, the killer. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. All right, then. <laughs> Let's take another look back at what happened. Kyoko's like, no! I'm wondering if Kyoko actually is the one who hid Alter Ego. Because she was afraid somebody was going to mess up. We just got in the way. Talk of the Gama could be. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up, so we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. Did we know Toko died at 6 a.m.? Due to his watch being broken. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. 
That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo-Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo-Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. If he couldn't... If he couldn't push a dead body, Dolly, I find it odd that they would be able to abduct Hifumi. I think it was Hifumi posed. He <laughs> banged on my guitar. Yeah, I think... Hifumi was in on it. Like, obviously, considering that he had drew up the plans, right? Although I don't know it's Hifumi, but I'm pretty certain that's who it was. So they did something with he knocked out Hero, got him posed to cover it. So was Taka the... I think Taka was the real target all along. And then... It could be, yeah. If we wanted Taka out of the picture. Still, why would somebody be an accomplice? That's the problem that I'm coming across. A hero asked if we help him take out the suit. Could be, could be. He was injured, so we took him to the but nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around the top of the stairs. When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that, I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, this strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so I headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Not to mention he's going up and down stairs. If he can't see his feet, it's hard to move around in that thing. You're blind? Him running up and down these stairs and everything? It doesn't make sense. Like, I think Celeste is just making them all go on a wild goose chase right here while they're trying to transport the bodies. So it looks, sounds like Hifumi and Celeste were in on it. <sighs> I think Celeste got Hifumi to go kill Taka. She was accomplice and Hifumi believed her for whatever reason because she was planning to kill him at the end, which is what happened there. Once they moved the Taka's body into there, that's when she killed Hifumi. Yeah, I think that's my working theory so far. He deleted himself. He just wanted to join the 2D world. 2D is my only way that I want. And then... The voice is on point. <laughs> I enjoy doing the voices, they're fun. Yeah! Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Fumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is when I was... Well, why would he fake his death here is the problem. That's what I don't understand, is we know we left him there. Is this close, guitar? There we go. <laughs> Separate the hands a little bit.
This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office, while Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. It reveals the upside down Y is actually a V. <gasps> when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, dead. But they just thought he was dead. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I don't think this is where he died. It just so happened that they heard the body discovery announcement probably the same time that they found Taka. And that's what that was. Because it never played again when I went back up there for Taka. How those little legs support that way, it's through super strength! So, there you go, now you can see a little clearer. Because <laughs> it only ever played once at this point. So one of them was still alive. However, then we, when we went into the art room where there's both of them, then we got the other notification saying that they've died. Although he then came alive briefly to say that it was Hiro and then died. Which I find odd because Through the mystery, like a hot knife through his fifty. It's a hammer. It's I a left hammer. Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Why would his dying breath say there's hero? Unless he actually believed that. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Index that you order the company was. Using to be the go between to get to cast that Steam won't sell to them directly? You have to order it yourself and ship it to them, then to yourself? What? Yeah, I heard there's some weird things about that index ordering. And that getting it in Canada has been an utter gong show. And yeah, I don't know if I'd want to do that either. It sounds really sketchy, because then they're like, Oh no, he shipped it to us. Clearly it was because he wanted it to, uh, to us. It was for us. Because you don't really have any legal recourse, I guess. They already have your money to refund it. Well, as long as you're able to get that refund. I mean, the only difference is you're not going to be getting it right away, right? A Valve will ramp up production, and they'll eventually be able to do more shipments to Canada or whatever. I think. Maybe. Because that's kind of what happened with the Vive at first as well. There's a whole big shipping debacle as well about random things getting shipped out and it was just, it was, it was terrible. I have the door number, so I still get it around the same time. Oh, okay. And, oh god. When I got my Vive, I had it shipped to my work, um, downtown, and when it arrived, there were two boxes. I actually got somebody else's Vive with my Vive. So I was sitting there like, if I was an untrustworthy person, I could have kept that Vive, the other person's Vive, when sold it on eBay, it made a pretty penny. But I actually looked them up because it did have their full name on there, and it turns out they also worked downtown. And they were, like, a street over. I found their company. And then... That they worked for there, and then I gave them a call. Hi, oh, is there anybody here that works by this number? Or by this name? I was like, oh, yeah, here, I'll transfer them. He's like, really? <gasps> he was so thankful. <laughs> oh, man. He, he came over and picked it up and said, thank you so much. Yeah, no, because I couldn't imagine if I, I lost my vibe like that, I would have been so pissed. Ugh. And I only signed for mine. Like, when I signed for it, it specifically said it was just mine, but they left it there. So it would have been lost in the mail. Oh, yeah, terrible for them. Celeste so convinces Hifumi to help her. She t kills Taka, and she uses that blood to fake an injury, but in the end, Celeste don't want to leave the end. Tries to kill Hifumi, but Hifumi comes to the car. Try to save Hero. 
Well, I think if I remember, he said, they asked him specifically, who killed you? He was like, who killed you? He said, it was Hero. Those were his words. <laughs> oh, Canada. Land of return vibes. Yeah, that's that's. We must have go. found both bodies at almost exactly the same time, because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office, but right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. The one thing, the whole thing planned for it, just kind of played a bit over the shipping issues. Well, I'm excited to see your thing that you have planned for that whole thing. Index. If, if it stream plans. If not, then I'm sure I'll hear from you about it like, at some point in the discords. Oh yeah, I, I agree. It's... It's... Iffy. We'll just say that. It's, it's, it's iffy. Because having... I agree. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable about paying for... Well, uh, actually, here's the thing. Are you paying for that shipping to them? Because it's, uh, it's two separate points of shipping. So there's going to be a cost for that. Or are they reimbursing that part? I guess if you get it in writing, saying that this is what needs to be done and they will get it to you, at least you have it in writing. I'm not talking about just an email back and forth, either. Okay. If his body has discovered, we rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies. Back inquiring, but if they don't get back tomorrow, call them, yeah. And after some time... Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository. Which is where we rediscovered the corpses. You see, that's the part that's tough, too, okay? Because the repository only locks from the inside. And if Celeste came to tell us about it, unless she was the one who was inside, I think that about covers it. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Yeah, this is probably going to be this trial's going to be going on. Let's get started, <laughs> <It's all stream. laughs> beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what! <laughs> I suspect Celeste. I don't know what exactly her... So, regarding Taka's death... Okay, file number three. Cause of death for each was a blow to the head, it's thought they were both killed with a similar weapon. I suspect her, but I'm only, like, 70% sure? Like, she's the most guilty party to me, based upon her antics throughout the entire chapter here. But at the same time, it's, it's so weird, I don't know. I wonder if he died before he threw me. Yeah. Or perhaps it was after? before. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. 
times were numbered, but we'll use in that order. Because yeah, they're by so, similar. Regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he or perhaps it was We already know what order they were killed. Taka came like What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. It's true that oh, he was missed. killed but while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came. So I wonder if, or perhaps it was, we already know what order they Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. What? No. A scare like that makes me think something weird is going on. Shoot. Oof. There goes my whole heart. Ouch. So, regarding, I wonder if, or perhaps it was, we already know what order they were killed in. Wait. What? Shoot. Oh, this is one of those so, stupid things where I have to freaking grab one something that they say instead. I wonder if he died before or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3 while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious mm. Taka came after. So, regarding Taka, I wonder if he died or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came one. last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was ah, killed while Taka's hit death. The thing. See? So it's obvious Taka came. So, I wonder if he died or perhaps it was after. Oh, well, I, I hit the what they said. Know what order Taka came last. What makes you Which say is that? why I got the because things. Because of the numbering wrong. of the it's Justice just... Hammers. There we go. What the hell? Shoot. So, Rejected regarding Taka's right. death. I wonder if he got the hot. Cuz like I'm all can only hit these. What order they were killed in? Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. It's true that Hifumi oh, was wait, killed with the number 3. While Taka's death oh. came from a swing of justice hammer 4. Oh my god. Okay, what? <laughs> Listen to me fail. I know I'm going to I'm going to lose it all this one. Because I'm not understanding. I thought you could only grab the yellow things, not the yellow text. Oh my god. <sighs> See? So it's obvious Taka came after. So, regarding no, Taka's no, 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 death... No, 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 not that. Okay, so I'm back to Monokuma through file 3. I wonder if he died before, or perhaps it was- We already know what order they were killed. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. Like while that Taka's one death be. came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after- I keep hitting the wrong button. Don't shoot Hina. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yeah, this one's each of the little head. I thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. So, I mean, technically with that, it could be a couple of them. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before he filmed, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? Yeah, no, see that bounces, so it just bounces off the white text. After. So, regarding Taka's death. So I have to shoot I at the yellow parts, but I can grab. Hifumi. Or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. 
while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Okay. I'm totally lost now. So, regarding t I wonder if he died before or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. Hmm. While Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Can't shoot. Nope. Can't. It's white text. You can't shoot white text. So. Pretty much my only Taka's options death. are you shooting the Monokuma file. And what order? What which was wrong. Because of the numbering. The numbering. Of the it's which true is wrong. that he moved while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Well, it has nothing to do with the Monokuma file. So. Regarding Taka, I wonder well, if he grab... or perhaps it was. We already know what, what order, order they were killed Taka came last. What makes you say that? And because then I try to shoot that at the numbering, and that was true wrong. that Hifumi was killed with while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. So, which means it has so, to be. I wonder if, or perhaps it was. We already know Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was while Taka's death. So, in which case, the numbering so could be Taka off, is what after. it really is. So. Regarding Taka's, I wonder if he, or perhaps it was Ah. We already know what order they were killed in. Yeah, there we go. No, that's wrong. Oh. Don't you have the watch, truth? Hold on. There's no reason to assume that, that the hammers were used in, in the same order as their numbers. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order? I was more focused on the fact that the Monokuma file was saying that they were used with similar weapons. I mean, similar hammers, not necessarily the order. What they were trying to argue was the order in which... so, yeah, yeah. But in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. Or Hifumi. Something that relates to what time he must have died. The watch! Wristwatch. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, well then. I did the TT. And I had, like, no hearts left, so. Wait, how did this only become Moto? Oh, had everyone must, must now get punished. Is this really the end for. I refuse yeah. to give up yet! Let's try that again. I get confused because sometimes I have to hit the letter multiple times and other times not. Okay, so. But oh, bait, bait's right. I, I totally hit a, a T. Oh, okay. How much you have to hit them depends on their color. Now I understand. Got it. Why Makoto has votes on him? Yeah, that's the part I'm not sure about. I got it. Taka's wrist. Just automatically, if you lose, if it's uh, everybody's like, oh, it makes more sense if everybody's like, no, nope, it was Hero, and then nope, it wasn't him. So everybody gets punished instead of Makoto, Makoto in this one. See, look, it broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer, because as of last night... Hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? 
Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. That's still you die, that's a perfect one. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock! You know that! Bedtime for all the little boys and girls! So if it wasn't broken after 6 last night, then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. They're too smart. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around 6, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. One death at a time, Sakura. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Yeah! Huh? Oh, what's that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. It's bad, come on, we have to go back. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office. And that's where we found his body. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! Oh, I know! They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on! If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Don't just go making stuff up! Anyway, we all have rock-solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? That's why he wasn't dead yet. And then there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. So I wonder if that's the thing. Hifumi killed Taka. He's the one who killed Taka. And he went and faked his own death. Why? How would he fake his own death? Oh, this is just to be attacked. He was just trying to fake an attack, and then he'd be like, Oh, I'm actually better now. Like Celeste, she was one of my favorites as well. Or, or she gets a little, uh, trying, but... Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? Yeah, now she's got to tell us For what now, she did. now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. So automatically innocent? She likes to make sure that we're going on the right track, so it's like, okay, okay, before we talk about who, let's figure out how things happen, okay. And according to what Celeste said... We could not have gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then, the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time? It would seem so. His body apparently disappeared in Staring the one minute the her ice. and Hina took their Point eyes of off of madness, it. no return. 
But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third in that short amount of time? Oh, man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? <gasps> what? Did you find How? an elevator? If the dead body were to move itself. Ha 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 ha! That's right. The, the dead body m m moved on its own? It's a zombie, Hina. <laughs> no! Not another ghost! I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? Drugs can be bad, kids. Watch but out. I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Did you check his pulse? Perhaps no. he was simply playing dead. That it isn't possible. And here that Hifumi was still alive. Is it possible? Make your argument. Broken worse. Are you argument. saying what? that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that mm -hmm. is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. That's probably right there. Broken wristwatch. Are you saying that when we first found there's a chance um, you know, there's uh, a group of us yeah, you know found that by three people the body that Hifumi's dead and that is are we really so sh maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone Bollocks. else's discovery No Are you saying that when we first there's a chance you No Hifumi was dead and you know that surely you heard the body that Hifumi's dead and that is are we really so sh maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's oh. discovery what does that have to do with what I said? Or do you just not know what you're doing? Ouch! Shoot. Rough. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead. Wait, and move. you know that shortly you heard the body discuss Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really so sure? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. <laughs> Are you Let's saying see, that when we first been? found Hifumi in the Nerf, there's a chance he was actually still alive? Let's... No. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Yeah, I think I need to grab one of the Surely other ones. Broken wristwatch doesn't really fit with any of, with these. with the rest of Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the, the announcement really, really maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. This is the discovery. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi, there's a yeah, chance he no. somebody else's Hifumi discovery was dead, on and Hifumi's you know that dead body? You heard the body that Hifumi's dead, and that is are we really? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first found, there's a chance you no? Hifumi was dead. And you know that half shortly you heard the body discovery announcement of Hifumi's dead body had been found. There we go. No, Huzzah! They're actually making me do that a whole bunch. Now. Nah. The first couple chapters just didn't really have to grab these other people's that was stuff now. Really intended now. for Hifumi? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two announcements. Damn, that's what I was Maybe saying in the beginning. Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. 
What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that... X! Dum dum dum! It's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy <laughs> bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Hey, Anna. What was Achievement Seekers? Achievement Seekers, Seekers was the first stream team that I had joined. Um, they're kind of all about getting together, doing some events, and kind of propping each other up. Taking a steady break. Ooh. Yes, a stream team. Uh, it's all Canadians. So we've got people in there from all across Canada. On, seems like a bunch of them are more Ontario based. But uh, they had done a murder mystery just back in May. I think uh, it's been a little busy lately, so we haven't really done any other events per se from there. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time, which means even if we find the same body again later, he Maybe won't make see. the announcement again. What you been up to? Did you even get your nails done? Oh, rough. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. Sick house, even the dog is sick, so it's even more than the sun now. Are you sick too? Second body discovery announcement. The first time I played was when we found each body in the nurse's office and the equipment room. Oh, that's where he gets. Both bodies were rediscovered. Yes, because we found them I got it. together we first heard it a second time before in the he came back. When we rediscovered the two bodies. Sick dogs. <laughs> of course, would you be able to tell? Keep moving. And that's rough. It's rough when the whole... That's kind of what happens in our household as well. One of us will get sick. And then everybody gets sick at once. It's, it, it's terrible. Ding, dong, ding, dong. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. Dun, dun, dun. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon days. him in the repository. Mm. I must be get, making you get antsy then. And that's just part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's <gasps> office. DK, son, thank you so much for that. Follow how you're doing today. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I know, I know. Especially when you're used to working out, and then suddenly you need to you, you stop for a while. Your body's still kind of used to that, so it wants to get that energy out, and then yeah, starts going like, hmm. Because he was super good at playing. Dead. That is the worst logic I have ever heard. Sorry, game. I stop every now and then, Anna. It's okay. It's okay. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go flip over to the intro and be like, ha ha, we'll just chat now. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove Doing he was good still there. alive. good there. Awesome. Good to hear. Enjoying your plate? My plate? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, enjoying your plate. I am so far. We're up to chapter three now. And it's been a ride, that's for certain. Do a laundry too, chat later? Okay, no worries. No worries. See you later. Good luck with that laundry, and 
Hopefully nobody will get sick all over it before it gets put away. Okay then, let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. I take it you've played this before, dk son If so, who's your favorite character? Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. I kind of attached myself to Kyoko right, off, uh, right at the beginning. <laughs> this whole thing is pointless. And then Celeste after that. There has to be proof that shows if Fumi was still alive. I have to find it and show it to everyone. The glasses cleaning. Make your argument. Yes, if from his glasses. That is exactly Well, here's... Okay, let's just make sure that is exactly what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay, yep. The first, first time we found Hifumi's body was in... Watch the playthrough of the third one. Excellent. Yes, I do have all of them, so I'm planning on doing a full franchise playthrough. After this one, we're going right into the Danganronpa 2, and then the other one that's before number three, and then three. I always forget its name because it's different. <laughs> and then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared. Oh no! And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned... Oh no! Sorry. I, I, I shot too quickly. <laughs> Shoot! Oh no! I didn't mean it! I'm sorry! This is going to be the next one! I know it! I got excited! Well, I thought one thing for do. certain the it was going to be that him, one. Then, his body dis and the next time it was in... But when you compare his body before the... Other than the change in how it was positioned, there was no notable difference. There we go. That's what it was. I thought there was no, going to be... Other not. than his position, there was no difference. I thought it was going to be one sentence. I didn't wait to see, and they got me. In fact, they got me. there was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. Spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. Evidence I found the trash can in the nurse's office was... The glasses cleaning cloth. I got it! It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? Dun, dun. And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. The character was Princess Higgles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess, I think. He remembered the full name. I highly man. doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky piece of garbage like that. <laughs> a few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Then there's no question. It belonged to Hifumi. Mmm. Mmm. So what you're saying is... What exactly? What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. I mean, technically that's true. But who true. would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? But that's that's also a true. good point. Then it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still alive in the nurse's office. He pretends to be dead. Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. But why? And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead, what was with all that blood? Was it paint or something? 
The fridge in the nurse's office contains packs of blood for emergencies. Okay, he there probably we go. used one of those. I was wondering why I couldn't get that as a clue when he I looked at the fridge. He figured he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot. And if Hifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Who Taka's corpse was? <gasps> Hifumi. I got it! it Welcome home, jeez. How's it going? Hopefully I wasn't driving you too mad on the way home. We are like, no, I don't. We don't. Pulls over the side of the road or... Like, ah. <laughs> what have we figured out so far? We figure out Hifumi was alive, as I suspected, and that he's going. He went out. He's the one. While who's we were all gathered in the Taka's nurse's body. office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked. Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. See, my working theory is that... Either Hifumi killed Taka... And then... Celeste killed Hifumi. Now, the reason why I'm saying Celeste, this is, I was discussed this earlier, was because of the, <clears throat> the fact that the whole robot costume, you can't move around it very easily. Uh, you can't bend at the waist, you're pretty much blind. There's no way you could be constantly running up and down stairs, getting to everywhere really, like, instantly. And why they thought there's <clears throat> multiple people. So she was making false claims as to seeing things and getting everybody to run around. Now, what I don't know is <clears throat> if they cooperated, and if so, why? Because Morikoma clearly stated that the, the accomplice will still die as well. So I'm not sure if both of them thought they'd double-cross each other, or what happened exactly. <clears throat> If he was just idiot, well, he can't just kill himself. But at the same time, he thought that he, uh, sorry, you know, Hero killed him. Because when asked about that on his dying breath, he said Hero did it. So that comes down to the next part: is like, why would he think Hero killed it? Yeah. Which means, when Hina and Sakura got so to I'm the not repository, sure how it all ties someone in, yeah. was already inside. I just saw him took advantage of it. But that's the thing, is like, how does Hiro and that whole costume work into this? That's why I still need to find out. And that's why I'm with them. I'm not 100% on anybody. I know Celeste isn't involved somehow. Whether, who knows, she, maybe she was just played it like Byakuya with when he just went and repositioned the body that last chapter, right? He didn't actually kill them, he just messed with the crime scene. Perhaps that's what she did too. But she's involved somehow. And, yeah. And it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's body there. He convinced us all he was dead, and when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. Why would he want to drag so, his body there? Hifumi the wasn't question. just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. But that means he took part in the murders. I, I just can't believe it. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless body? Item? Who stole from Taka? Could it be? It's the note. Where is the note? The note of who? 
I got it! You're talking about the note Hifumi had hidden away, aren't you? A uh, hidden note? That's right. Down his pants. He found it stuffed in his pants. What? In his pants? <laughs> <laughs> yes, his pants. Okay, well, forget about the pants for now. <laughs> Take a look at what the note says. Oh, yes, those pants. We never thought about looking in Hifumi's pants. How could we have not thought about that? <laughs> Found a hole maybe we can use to escape. How come I can't find out so don't tell anyone else for now? Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. Ah, that's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. I see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hero. And that person could only have been... You put me pants! <laughs> I want to say that so bad. <laughs> I got it! That's right! Taka! The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Too many stars. I lost fully in one. I did. Uh, in the hangman's gambit, I accidentally pressed the T twice. So I misspelt wristwatch, and that finished me off. So that it, it went over to the beginning. Sucks all forms. Yeah, because I was. Yeah. I, I lost track. I totally forgot that I was. Some letters were filled in. Hello, over here. Objection! Objection! I don't really understand what's going on, but Hifumi had that letter, right? So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok, they were drawing out Huffy! Um, just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Hifumi, right? Oh, yes! Why must you ruin it every time? I was confused as well, like, what? What? <laughs> Man, Genocide Jack is seriously scary, but still. I can't let her get to me. Make your argument! Oh my good lord. Broken wood straw, shifting his glasses, glasses clean. Puppy had the note, right? Oh, trying to figure out. Then the person it was intended for. Change the dang bullets. Must have been Huffy! But oh, remember what the note said. What time did it say to meet? 6 a.m., I believe. Yeah, the time doesn't matter. Swatch. Yes, it does. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. No, that's wrong. Because he does time of death. No, there absolutely is a connection. See, what, what it's... I can choose between three given ones. It makes sense. It's when I have to go figure out which one of theirs I need to grab and then move over to go fight someone else's. That just blows my mind. I get so confused. What? what the hell are you talking about? The note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was murdered. <laughs> Poor truth, Flipper. It was very punctual, killing exactly as he showed up. We've already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that... Further objections. <laughs> then someone used that note oh, to trick Taka. Just the same as me. <sighs> the culprit really is a cold-blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Stuffed down his pants, no less. <laughs> Most likely. Hifumi's Hifumi pants. stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Huh? 
He stole it? Where's your proof? Go ahead, show us. He's wanting me to get the proof? Jeez. Fine, I'll show you the torn bit. From his hands. I think that's what it is, yeah. I got it! Cold when I searched Taka's body, I sand. saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is... All the answers, just like a... Yes. Ugh. Both I of them. I knew it! It fits they just perfectly want me to think with for the myself. milk he found What's hidden on this? Hifumi. I want all the answers just given to me. <laughs> then Taka's scrap and Hifumi's note... Yup. They're from the same piece of paper. Hifumi had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. There's only one way to explain it. Taka died clutching the note. Hifumi tried to free the note from his death grip, leaving behind only one small scrap. Dangerous. Did I get all that right? They would never tell you anything. That means Hifumi knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Whoa. Yeah. After seeing all this, Hifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact, he's still alive. He would have been. Sorry. No. Incompatible pair? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The second body discovery announcement proves that. But he still came back to life. So then, who killed Hifumi? Whoever did is the mastermind, the true killer. Uh, wait, more like? What? 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 I don't know. He was killed in the repository. So he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. So he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, but before we found both bodies in the repository. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, dun, dun, dun. but me and Sakura were together. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid walrus! Oof. It's according to the internet. According to the internet, there's all kinds of shipping between whatever. <laughs> Hoping the slaves isn't worth it. Oh, man. Who are you calling a walrus? Anyway, when they were killed bothers me, too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. What's and the that might that be? The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon? Yeah. Because, I mean, according to the Monokuma file... Monokuma X Makoto? No! No! That... No! No! Not only is that, like, just a stuffed what machine, but you're... Like the actual bear. Now we're crossing into, like, bestiality as well. No! <laughs> Oh yeah, his guitar picked up on that X. He's like, yeah, that's right. Throw more X's in there. <laughs> the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. But Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? So if Hifumi was killed in the repository, there was the another hammer would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, then put the hammer back where they found it. But, wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? I'm surprised. It seems there's some semblance of a brain knocking around that skull of yours after all. Hell yeah! It's packed in there good and tight. He's right, though. I don't understand it either. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. A hammer's a hammer, no matter the size. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... <clears throat> So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? <coughs> I'm so sure such a conclusion. 
Congratulations, you thought of something I didn't, but I will pretend I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I mean, it's a logical conclusion because of the Monokuma files. Personally, I haven't a clue. So which hammer was used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? Neither. Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um... Then... Uh... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? So mm -hmm. then, what was used to kill Hifumi? What was actually used to kill Hifumi? Just round of the case won't become clear until we figure that out. So I have to find the truth! 20k for Crystal Ball. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal Ball was very important. The spotless hammer. What was used to kill Hifumi? The Spotless Hammer. Was it Justice Hammer 3? Maybe Justice Hammer 4? Well, whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about to make its appearance! <laughs> Check out MurderGear.com slash Hammer Time for more info! <laughs> well, one thing seems pretty... Somebody had to have made that website. MurderGear.com <laughs> Don't argue with statements. Agreeing isn't all. The murder weapon had to be one of the Justice Hammers! Right, I pressed the wrong button. No, it and was this one! It's a spotless hammer. No, that's wrong. That's so why I'm trying to listen to all the way to the end this time. The murder weapon wasn't a justice hammer at all. No, it was something completely different. But uh, now, it's something completely different. A different weapon? Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that Ooh, to kill you. Jeez. Oof. <laughs> it's, it's on my brain knocking around that skull of yours. Now. All the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris. But for some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. It always throws me off when they're in the screen there. And it's all like... <laughs> like they're just getting electrocuted. <laughs> and the reason it had been scrubbed clean was most likely because it was used to commit murder. If the hammer got covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. I'd also like to point out that Base the repository <laughs> has all kinds of hammers. Big ones, small ones, and even some flat mallet-like ones. I think whoever made the justice hammers used those as a basis for their design. If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma files note about the wounds being similar. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository, where someone then used a hammer to kill him. And whoever did that is the true killer. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold on a moment. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. The way the graduation rule works, there is no benefit yes, thank to you. helping someone else carry out a murder. Yeah, this is what I want to find out. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is simply ludicrous. We talked about this, did we not? We did talk about how there wouldn't be any reason for anyone to work together. At least, that's what we thought at first. But... Spotless hammer. I don't think that will be used in this. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Yep. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders.
based on the rules murders. that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder. In this case, however, there were two murders. Uh, only two orange attacks, yes, but I don't know how they really interact. The spotless hammer doesn't really work for either of those. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act, assuming the rule holds true. It is simply impossible that two people work together on it. That is, so but that only really applies in this case, this however, one. there were two murders. Two murders, and I throw that at the impossible. Based on the rules that have been even if more than one, only the one who actually carried out, assuming the rule holds true. Okay, perfect. No, Because if we thought the mastermind would kill someone, so they would both become black. Since there were two murders, it's at least plausible that more than one person was involved. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really worth considering. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. Risk versus reward benefit? The payoff for working together. The reward that balances out the risk of taking part in a scheme. There's no point in being someone's accomplice if there's no benefit to you. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, the then cooperation becomes possible. You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. I think that's what the true killer told Hifumi. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. And based on the case's events, Hifumi would have been the first one to act, murdering Taka. They made him carry out the first murder so he couldn't back out of helping them later on. So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. And it only looked like one person because that's how the true killer designed it to look. A single suspicious Smart. individual, a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies. By creating one seamless set of circumstances, they made it look like one person was behind it all. The mastermind picked their target and managed to convince him to go along with their plan. And then, to avoid the no accomplices rule, like they simply killers, right? killed their accomplice. Okay, that makes more sense then. Which, if true, means that betraying Hifumi was part of the plan from the very beginning. But that's just awful! How could yeah, so anyone that, be so cruel? That's the men's set that I, I think it's the less for sure then. Because she was, everything that she was doing was essentially like working together with Hifumi to directing everybody away from certain sets of stairs so this way Hifumi can get up them. It's like, oh, he's over here. He's over here. Going through that. You think so much is that cruel? Hmm, I wonder. And we've already seen previously that when she snaps, Hifumi, uh, steps, steps two. She was, she commanded him to make that tea properly and boom, away she went off. Is that the strength? It's indeed the strength. Hifumi did all the heavy lifting. She just had to go in there and smack him with a hammer after. You think so? I can't help but admire its cunning. Still, their choice of accomplice seems... odd. I need to convince us that two murders were the same. That was just the main character's stupid stuff. Now that you're C rank. <laughs> I must have noticed the... That fact from the very beginning is why she said not to look at this. This is a series of connected events, but entirely separate. Not the first base, baby. Mm. Let's bring it home! She's almost too amazing. It's almost unnatural how good she is at it. I understand how an accomplice could be involved. 
But then, who was the one pulling Hifumi's strings? That's problem numero uno right now! A true killer manipulated Hifumi to carry out a number of actions, and in the end, murdered him. You know what I'm not looking forward to right now? The comics. I'm not looking forward to having to piece this together there. <laughs> That's gonna be ridiculous. The debates up till now, the way the case has unfolded when you consider all that. I love the comics too, but setting it up this time for this specific case is gonna be crazy. <laughs> the one person who seems to fit. Okay, this is the moment of truth, was it Celeste? Here's my answer! It was Celeste. Ah, uh, so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? <laughs> I really do hate this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder. So oh. what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him Welcome to Let's Going Insane, yeah. That I would go within 10 feet of that shit for brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn idiot! Oh, oh, there goes her accent. Uh, 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 pardonnez-moi. Just to be clear, there is evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working this together. That's her real name. That was she said it was. Was it the only Hifumi and Celeste had in common? The screaming. Encountering the suspicious individual. I got it! The behavior they had pants. in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit, doesn't it? The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste. So what? She's the ultimate Hifumi. liar. Josh. I just want to make sure that's what it was. She's the ultimate gambler, yes. That's what it was. Ultimate gambler. Took a gamble. See? 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 <laughs> Shush, the adults are talking now. Oof. Sorry. As he said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying everything they told us was a lie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? I saw a shadow. Something moving at the top of the stairs. We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. <coughs> Next, to draw us all to the physics that lab up on the third floor. Would come up in this case. Monopad. I do not recall. She let out a blood-curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? This was wrong. A rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, this strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. Once she'd Evil. done yes, her job gotcha. of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. What's that? I came from downstairs. It must have been Ifubi. It's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on. We have to go back. It was to get back, us Kate. to divide into go two back. groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Then why don't we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. 
I believe the capture of that suspicious individual to Toko, Yokua, and Sakura. Well, if Celeste wow. and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. That was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? Ooh. It was your way of telling him, we're on the third floor, everything's <laughs> going according to plan. I'm gonna keep saying his name wrong and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? I just realized another strange thing. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead, I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that he feel me would be murdered. Celeste, you were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I... I don't believe it. Everything... The whole thing was one big act. Hina... You were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. Wait! Then Slow that was... Gambler. <gasps> she wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh, did I? I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip up was your undoing. Well, I guess he's going to ask. He's going to say, Makoto, what was that mistake? What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we returned to the nurse's office. They must really be enjoying this. During the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. We're all going to die here. We're going to die, just like those guys died. Ah, yes, she doesn't know about Taka's death yet there. I remember her saying that too. But I don't understand what's so strange about it. Oh, you noticed that mistake too. I I did not. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Oh wait, no, I did notice that. But what I assumed when she said those guys, I just figured that she meant all the past people who've died already. So I, I thought that she was going like Oh no, we're going to die just like those guys, all those guys that were going to get murdered, or whatever. That's what I thought when she said that, not necessarily that she was talking about Toko and this. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed, so Sakura and I left with Makoto. The devs intended. True. Once we, were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the yes. four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, none of us said anything about Taka being dead. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make she sense. Did? It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? But Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. Well, what is he alluding to? It's like a long con, yeah. Yeah. Well, number three. All I said was... They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die. 
Just like those guys died. And that is all I said. Like those and guys. that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it? What was so strange about Celeste's comment? I'm guessing it. No! All I said was. Uh, uh, I was trying to copy strange. I was trying, but I wasn't fast we enough. Going to, we are going to die. And that is all. And that's all it takes to finish. What was so strange about Celeste's comment? There we go. It's okay. I, I got the, I got that this time. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> all I said was yeah, and, uh, they must really so enjoy each other. Strange would be going on those be. guys. We are all going to die here. We are going to die, just like those. No. 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 The Cinnabelle is going piercing through her heart. That's right. There's that no the reason Celeste so should have said, you. just like those guys died. Till the Gothic Lolita with silver bullets. When she it is said only that, fitting, no? none of us had told her Taka was dead. Exactly. And we didn't run into her until after we were all out in the hall. So there was never any chance for her to have seen his body in the equipment room for herself. So how did you know, Celeste? How did you know more than one person had been killed? And how did you know they were both guys? Because oh, Kyoko oh. had also disappeared, right? So she could have been dead too. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid! You all have such vivid imaginations, you know that? Imaginations? You claim that I was lying when I told you about the suspicious person I saw. Then what about the picture I took? <laughs> exactly. The stupid, stupid. How do you Nothing's going to be better than that. Of the costumed villain dragging Hifumi away. It, it has to be some kind of setup, right? So let's put the suit on. And then... Then she used the camera's timer to... To set up the picture. Have you so quickly forgotten? You are the only one who could have possibly fit into that suit. Plus, I happen to know that this particular camera does not have a timer. In other words, it is an unassailable fact that this is a picture of Hifumi being dragged away. Posing like if he's everything being dragged I told away. you was a lie, how can this picture exist? Simple. Are we sure that's really a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away? This better be a 10 hour clip video of him saying stupid, stupid, stupid over and over again. Stupid, 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 it stupid, is stupid, 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 uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Can we get one hour exactly? One hour is more than enough. I'm half tempted to, uh... Oh. Should we put that as a follow sound? Somebody follows? Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> Why would you follow? This is dumb! Go sleep to it? Yeah. <laughs> What could you possibly mean by that? Surely there are other explanations than the one you've offered up. No, there is no other explanation. Ooh. Other explanation? It wasn't a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi away. It could be Hifumi carrying it. I've been drinking. He was dragging a suspect away. Are dancing. I think they're dancing. dancing. We can just do making a follow noise. Nice. <laughs> it's not a picture of the suspect dragging Hifumi so away. Like a stupid stupid. They're like, what the hell, man? I would say it's a picture of Hifumi dragging the suspect away. <gasps> That's certainly within the realm of possibility. The one being dragged off in that picture isn't Hifumi, but the person in the robot suit. We've simply been led to believe that it's the other way around. And the strange costume might only exist to lead us astray even farther. If you saw someone wearing something like that in this situation, of course you'd notice and be suspicious. That's what happened! You put me to sleep and made me out to be the bad guy in all this! Hm. 
<laughs> oh, so we're gonna go nuts. How far out is? Oh, I was gonna go that far. <laughs> Such a thing is utterly impossible. Hifumi was dragging him away. Ridiculous, is it? I don't think it's ridiculous at all. <laughs> then shut your mouth and allow me to educate you. Ooh, the sass. I just think she can prove that there's no way Hifumi was dragging the suspect away. Is that really possible? Let's find out! Costume of Shiro's message, Robo Justice Blue Frank. You're dressed in sass? You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out! Then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight! You tried to make me look like the bad guy! Like I said, ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. Then the fortune. Um, that's not true. No way! I believe. I think it's just the Robo Justice costume. Yeah, because it can't bend. Yes, Fido, that's true. Just want to make sure that was the correct one. You dressed me up in that suit after I passed out. We've reached the end game. Then you just draped me across Hifumi and had him carry my weight. You tried to make me look like the bad guy. Like I said, ridiculous. ridiculous. As you can see in the picture, the suspect is standing perfectly upright. If the person inside the suit was unconscious, there's no way they could stand up straight like that. No, that's wrong. No way they can stand up straight like <laughs> Shot no. to the heart. Even if the person inside the suit were unconscious, they could still stand up like that. Monster! This way! Uh. Because that Robo Justice suit had a certain characteristic. Oh, it can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's right! They totally made a mistake when they made it, so it couldn't bend at the waist. I'm not so sure that was a mistake. It was to keep them propped up while he was unconscious. I think so the suit was designed over. from the beginning to be used the way it was. <laughs> Oh, we caught her. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> oh, she's going to go crazy. Well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? <laughs> Why doing their castle of lies collapses? Is she gonna flip out? Don't make me laugh, you idiot! What do you mean, checkmate? C Celeste? Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, there's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? And that's where I'm also confused. Why would he say Hiro killed him? If we, who was it who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who, who? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Yeah. Yasu Kiro. When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? For love. We thought she had an accent. No, she because she swapped to it one other time as well. And her accent's really weird anyways. It's like it's a self-made one. He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Hadakure! Right! But my name isn't really Yasuhiro! It's actually Taro! Your confusing statements don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. 
He did say Yasuhiro. But are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Ooh, Kyoko, Man. what do you mean by that? What if... Fire light? <gasps> no. What if her name was Think Yasuhiro? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? If everyone... Uh, no, he said last names. Shoot, I remember. His last names. I got it! That's right! Our last names! He called us all by our last names! Exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Nayagi more than once, for example. So if Hifumi did mean to say Hiro's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. Right, this chance, is where the pad's going to come up, so we can check name. her last name. <laughs> she knew right in the... Now, I find that a little silly. She wasn't there for the entire investigation, and she already figured out who it was and knew that, oh yeah, the pad will come so, so we could check her name. She knew all the... Everything Celeste was going to say before she even said it for her thing. She's too strong. She's like Superman. I don't like Superman because he's got no weaknesses. Real weaknesses. As strong as the comic creators want him to be. Where she went had this info. <gasps> I still think she took Alter Ego. And she has Alter Ego hidden away. Because... We were all screwing with Alter Ego way too much. <laughs> I brought Taka to it. Uh, as well as that. <laughs> uh, Hifu was going over there. Zaytrian! How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Indecent? Don't talk. Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? <gasps> No, the there's the no yes. reason to think he would have, have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. The real question is how did Hero find out? Or, what <laughs> did you just say? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit! Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather! Yasuhiro is a loser's name! Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? Right now, yes. What? <laughs> I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. I'll say say before What's you your die, real name? I don't recall. Fine. Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself oh, yes, he regained over his memories and all over of again? He said all of the memories from before the school before this trial as well. I still won't give up, so then... I have to do something to make her accept it. Which would explain how he knew it if... he was more friends with her at the other point in time. The handbook! Give her the stupid stupids, it's true. If Fumi was trying to... Son of a gun. He wanted us to know the killer's last name. Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many Stop times do I have to tell you? My name is... Celestia Ludenberg, god damn it! How long do you plan to go on pretending? 
I'm not here. pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me. No, that's wrong. And this is where she's like, Bwah! That's it. The handbook. What? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. So all we have to do yeah, is check handbook our handbook, a lot. and that'll clear up everything. That's how we can find out Celeste's real name. That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Celeste. Then you're guilty. Can you please just tell us what really happened? I am really intrigued as to what her punishment's going to be. Please, just tell us. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 because! Stupid, 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 now it's because, 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 because! Until the game's over, you never know what might happen! And then she stabs someone else. Who stabbed my boobies? Fine else. then. Let me settle it. Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and shed light on all your crimes. Like your spirit, and yeah. And that'll bring everything to an end. Yeah, don't give up. <gasps> Look, I've got the bloody posters in this one still. And the ball? Wait, what? Oh my god. So... A comic movie? <laughs> he looks interesting. Yeah. So what could they be giving Hifumi here? Oh. There's nothing. Okay. I guess... This? Chatting? Like, I wanted potato chips, <laughs> but they're on the table. I don't think they would, uh, agree on that. I think that's them shaking hands. Act two. Uh, use there? Uh, man, this comic's actually rough. Unless this one goes here. Unless <sighs> according to the watch. Oh, that's 6 a.m. Yeah, I think this one. This is 1 a.m. He comes in, and then that's when they... They do things to him. Naughty. Horrible. Horrible thing. You know what I'm saying? He's like, jeez guys, what do you want? And then he's like, oh no! Put him in the costume. What is this picture even? Not certain. Gets the picture, he does the thing. Taken. On to Act Three. Look at the time. Good time. Comes up. He hits a hammer. A boy. Be bad. Wait, no. 
This is the regular hammer. I take that back. That was just a sign of four. I four, they find the camera. I looked back, I cheated. Because that's what he was using right here. Swinging with Justice Hammer 4. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's what he used. Yeah, so that he has the Justice Hammer 3. Those are the beginners, they fool me and cheese, they're trying to convince you the other way. Jesus. <laughs> Here they walk in. What was it? Is a hammer two on this one? Or was it three? No, it was two that was hit Celeste. Wait. There he goes, magical wonder twins! It was actually the most slept on waifu. But I just need more of her info. Just bond with them. Yes. She disappears rather quickly, so you don't even get the chance. Backpack. Splattered blood everywhere. Oh, unless this is... the bloody hammer. Over here. The only one that seems to make sense. Then what happened here? Oh, right. Because there's the little hammer first that hits him. He's okay. And he gets killed by three because it goes up. Yes. Yes. That'd be two. Remember the regular bangers, the real banger. Yes. Bang, 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 wrap up. This is him pushing the dolly. Okay, I was wondering what that picture was. I thought that was him grabbing shorts or something from a shelf. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's got the kitty face on it. Mew, mew. <gasps> dum, dum, dum. Finish them off with a bloody hammer. Here's exactly what happened. Exactly. Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that oh, person was- Well, I believe was... you do a victory dance. <laughs> Aha, I was right, it was a handshake. He flew me. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. That someone <laughs> they the met with was Hero. Like, <laughs> the murderous duo intended to pass Hero off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. Next, Hifumi positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking him, while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures you of feel the assault. Bonding with Celeste now? <laughs> I'm fine. I was trying to figure out more about her and her duplicitous nature, and you know, that just means I was able to fulfill uh, finding out more about her before she disappeared. So yay. <laughs> 
She wasn't my favorite, so it's all good. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, oh, dude, into the pool her. room locker. I don't know, but she was my next up anyway, so whatever. <laughs> And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. <coughs> and that's where Kifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. <laughs> The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, which was left there in the equipment room. The reason Hammer Number 4 was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. So, next they falsified two more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims <laughs> real? to solidify ah! Robo Justice as the suspect. You did it again! The first fake incident was the attack in the rec room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. Good luck. I cannot forget that. Tomorrow you're gonna wake up, there's gonna be a horse head on your bed. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack story. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. Locking up with V and all the other Canadians are killing him. No! I don't know, they bored. Oh, sorry about that, eh? Yeah, yeah. You, you go ahead. Grab me some of them Timmy's there from the, behind the counter. And a house head be somewhere else. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 in an injured Hifumi to oh, sell us that store. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about something else about your household. Incidents, the killers were able to create and a the of the preconception house will be found in another place besides that house. I mean, I guess technically you can find it still on the horse, but half the fun is waking up to it, looking at you on the pillow beside that you. That the suspect was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as we fell right into their Oops. trap and That's started looking for the suspect based on that. But I know! How many you've left? While we did that, we left Hifumi alone in the nurse's office. This was exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. I, I like the magical twirling. The refrigerator Whee! and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene in which he himself had apparently been brutally murdered. He let out a scream to draw us back, and when we returned, that's what we found. Perfect run. No, no perfect runs. I've lost twice so far. I've had to do the... I can't give up now. Can I try again? Oh, God. Meanwhile, the other group that had been out searching found Taka's body at the same time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, Kina. we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. That's actually a good question. Who would we kill? I take it Hino would probably the be the easiest. Office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. Honestly, I think I could get away with Nakuya. Because he thinks I'm so stupid and not able to do anything that I probably he wouldn't even see it coming. And then there's a quick knife between the between the ribs there, or behind or whatever. Yeah, no, I wouldn't even want to try messing with Toko. <laughs> we'll go see a mile away though. Yes. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. He wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. 
That explains how each of the bodies disappear. There's a jack on your back. <sighs> what? But even Hifumi didn't know what the true killer as had long in as mind you don't know what it is act. and you can get away with in the trial, she dies if you get away with it. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. The after effect. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using yeah, an ordinary, everyday That's hammer true. from the repository. Therefore, that should I have cover to lay a trap everything for her that happened in this case. Otherwise, uh, and the villain behind it all heard. is. <gasps> look at this frame! Aww. Look what he is. <laughs> Celeste! Sorry, you lose. I'm very intrigued to see her, her punishment. I lost? When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Then you admit it? You're the killer? What was that final cut? No idea. I mean, I did get all the way to the end with her report card. Listen to you, trying to take charge, as if you're my private instructor. So, geez, is that true? Did I get that kind of thing at the end there because of having a full report card? Or was it just always going to be like that? I, Celestia Ludenberg. Okay. Actually... No, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. I'm the kind okay. of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Hey, 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 see, see. And then A is the rest of the way. Huzzah! Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no, I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It is indeed the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to vote, okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Be. <laughs> it's me. No. And the how the game itself will end yet? Gosh, I have no idea. What? If the only thing I can think of is that before I have to kill someone, we're going to find out the bizarre truth to the school. As to what happened during those, what, seven years since the school shut down? It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. Now blacken this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... Ta-da! Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yashihiro! Honestly. I lost. It is, that sucks. I don't care, I'm doing her accent to the end. How would the truth save you, though? If you could... Escape? <laughs> I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Ifumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Ifumi with this plan? But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Hm. I'm sure she relied on her specialty. Lying. <laughs> my specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to get lie to get him to agree. So then. Then did you use... 
you know. <sighs> I knew you'd figured it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get here for me to access my complex, mm -hmm. I used her. Everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. You know what? Respect. I mean, respect. If she did not mention Alter Ego right now, she could have because she's going to die. We caught her red-handed. She's going to die. She knows she's lost. She's accepted it. But she didn't screw us all at the same time by giving up Alter Ego. She's taking responsibility for her actions, so mad respect for that. What does she mean? She talking about alter ego? Say what? What? What, 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 what? what are you talking about? I. She's a surprisingly fair player. She is. Just a second. <laughs> Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally out of the loop. As usual. How sad. In other words, and you're the one that stole it. Indeed. That's right. I see. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the. <clears throat> and you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you'd come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um. Now he'll go to. What are you doing here? Actually. I was hoping I could talk to you, alone. It's about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. <laughs> yeah! So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found out use for the digital camera. I had taken, you know, what, to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the pictures as soon as I showed it to Hufumi, of course. <laughs> Nation. I saw it was him. But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taco forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me... Please forgive me. He, he threatened me. Oh, um... Dan? As for me... Came to my room last night unannounced, and then it's hard for me to even say. He abused me. What? And he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show some to everyone. That Jerry Lewis died. Yeah, this is a... Uh, it is it is a flashback. This is just explaining how she got him to work with him. So I, I had no choice. Damnation! That's a crime! An absolute crime! And it's the Sepiotum, yes. I mean, I knew he'd gotten a little crazy, See, but what? I never imagined he would go that far! <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life! Be I'm going to kill him! I'm going to kill him! Most unfortunate. Wait, please! Well, now you'll be playing right into his hands. Mm -hmm. Actually... Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean. <sighs> Let's see your execution. We're getting there. It's coming so soon. So soon. Taka is going to try to just kill you. <laughs> Indeed. And all so he can keep her to himself. <sighs> this is unforgivable! And bastard! Completely unforgivable! Other moto. Moto plays into this? Honestly. Can we allow him to continue the barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not! How could I? She, she, I swear I, I will save her! Actually. Then would you like to join me? It just so happens I've come up with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I've devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <sighs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Hmm? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Nancy. <I'll> <laughs> <coughs> 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 
He fooled me, agreed without a second thought. Mm -hmm. The effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love. If that love is tasted as that, then still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um. You disgust me. I see. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume from his creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the neck, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face on general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that. But it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But. So, why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Hmm. <laughs> because you're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Huh? That's it. Let's see. And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, so. <sighs> Look, I could cry. Well. Well, when you were explaining your plan to Ifumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? <laughs> what she's asking is, what was Ifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? Are you okay with this? And I see, yeah. Even the death bandits. I mean, she's just letting them know. <laughs> That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, once everybody showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he had just barely held on. Hmm. Really believe that? <laughs> well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was, while you are questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Ifumi could have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that and he believed it. Hm. It all seems very straightforward. Stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the zeal point. In fact, Ifumi ate it up. He believes the lie wholeheartedly. Right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... You had planned to kill him all along. <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up himself. What the heck? How can human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! Now you sound like Bianca. I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the real of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the 10 million dollars Manukuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. <sighs> but that's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought has been escape. But... What? All along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. You little bitch! Obviously that was a lie! <laughs> Oh. Hey! Away. Also, everyone left couldn't hurt a fly. I wonder what's going to happen. What are you talking about? Everyone left couldn't hurt a fly. We've got Sakura, we've got Genocide Jack. This is FM today, one. More than anyone. Anyone, anyone else in here. You little bitch! I wanted to get out! Every day was fresh torture! Do you want to know why? Huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. The one that would kill because it would be so obvious, huh? And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream for her. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life with a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. What was this dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. A c castle? <laughs> Two guys are handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butlers slash bodyguards, which I was invited to be. I'm sorry, it doesn't look like he's kissing her foot there, it looks like he's sniffing it. It's all like. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. Living castle, that's it. <laughs> I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. 
Once I obtain that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of death. This is fine. Living the rest of my life, there was only there was my only dream. My only goal. That's what life is all about. I should route him to do this and the butler thought, yes. I would have been invited to be part of that. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Malakuma's ten million dollars would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but there is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream till the very end. So why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your friends for it. Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own needs. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear that. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, I had a choice. Isn't then it wonderful? I think I would like to come back as Muri Antoinette. Hey. Just get... Executed again. <laughs> Poor innocent Hina's right. The smile. But she did look to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings. That statement itself must have been her final lie. That weak fake smile is what betrayed her. Thrills, chills, kills! You all done? Okay! Then let's get rolling! The black and disturbed the peace and must pay the price! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For her, the ultimate gambler! I'm guessing it's going to be a roulette wheel. And there's going to be a ball bouncing around and it's going to crush her or something. Like let's that. give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Alright. Thank you everybody for coming out tonight. You know, it's uh, been great. I think this is where we're going to be. <laughs> I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? <laughs> this is. Oh, that must be where the laptop is hidden. Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why. Actually. It's not important. Well then, take care, everyone. See, I like her voice right now. Her voice sounds Perhaps really nice. we'll meet again in another life. Game over. Tenus has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. All right. Am I right about the roulette wheel? Oh, she's still smiling. Oh, it's a castle. Oh, she's being burned at the stake. In the castle. The burning of the Vasenes witch. Well, all these small comas, that's that nice. Now, the funny thing is, I mean, being burned alive at the stake, you actually died from the smoke inhalation before any flames ever got to you. The ultimate liar. What the?
No, she dies is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's just starting to get all hot up in there. It's over. The third execution is over. Plus death is over. Plus killed my friend, so I can't pity her, but... I also can't deny that at one point I consider her a friend too. More than a friend, she invited me back to her room. Be her personal servant. For him to just come along and... <laughs> Isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world, and so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young! You need to place more value on your lives! What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were going to pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of oh, here! Careful. Oh, I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad. You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad. Yes, it is. But that reality just can't be avoided. The more you guess it, large. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you going to make us? Oh, <clears throat> how long? I'm not going to tell. How long are you? Going to... Because the mastermind confirmed. <laughs> how long are you going to keep us? Make us keep going through this. What do you want from us? A bunch of hopes, Jesus, right? God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. I hmm. statement about this game. <gasps> oh, anyway! Coco, did I see you get some kind of key-type object from Solace? Hey! Hey! Uh, what's the deal with that? Wah wah? Huh? What's the matter? So then... I'll answer your question, if you answer mine. You... What did you do? What did you do to me? Who? <laughs> what? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh, how exciting. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. What do you mean? What did I do? I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Uh, um, what was that just now? Mastermind did something to Kyoko's body? What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well? Meanwhile, you guys can go on enjoying your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later! Ooh. Motokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although, it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope in my pants. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's that key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, the key to one of the dressing room lockers. You killed people and got graduated, but you never leave the school. Secret thing. The person who becomes black and leaves the school becomes the next Monokuma. There you go, calling it there. Huh? What? Then that means... <laughs> so that's probably hidden in there. Hey! I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. Indeed. Why would they want to become Monokuma? Because they go mad. They go insane with all the things that they had to do. No, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I agree. <laughs> Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. And when you look at Monokuma and how he's acting this, quite clearly he's not all there. So we approached the dressing room. Took a look back at us and said, hey. I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else, head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... 
Do you even have to ask? Just spoke to glance quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on! It's not what I mean. Why you? Still the risk of a spy, you know. Most sane person here, what you mean? I don't know about that one. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please, let me go! I hear arguing is just going to draw more attention to Goodbye. us. Goodbye. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Thank you, Bakuya. Well, well then. That's up to you now. Yo! I'm going to go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? huh? So come, kind of going. Go together? <laughs> oh, Hina. You know what I think it means? Okay. They like my cutoff girls. I like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. <laughs> Try to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me. Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Yeah. So then. To get into that locker. Took the keys, Celeste has given her unlocked the locker. The locker swung open, we saw. You really came. Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe, thank goodness. Never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> Jesus, husband Arindo is back. We can all be happy once we. I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. So. Oh, and I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. <laughs> Doing my best, so please wait just a while longer. <laughs> and now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... Take a second, since we have this opportunity, I want you to be honest with me. Luca, please tell me. What are you trying to do all in your own here at the school? You. Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However... Regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that... Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the Mastermind spy, right? And you too? No! I, I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me. I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then That's fine. Fine, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see. Sepia! What I heard from Kyoko then was, well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. And after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And the storage closet there, way in the back. There's a way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet. But can we really be right about this? What's she doing in all these bathrooms? Just snooping around in the boys' room. Storage closet. Right, the last stall is the storage closet. Just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? That's... Look, look at the indentation on this wall. It looks like a door! She says, way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I place my hand on the back of the storage closet. It's only as if I were being yanked in. <gasps> Kashunk. Same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Tissues? Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. Baba. 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 I'd fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? Turned out, back wall was like a revolving door. I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. Boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. The secret room. What's in here? No. 
Well, well, there's just two things. Just a normal desk with normal drawers. A bunch of files and what looked like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Look at everything one found the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope's Peak Academy Student Registry! This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. I've been looking at it recently. I slipped the file into my hand. But before I had a chance to take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. This. You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I understand if it said, like, I can't leave, but you must not leave? What is this? My head feels... funny. A strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. There's less name as well. Could it be this registry here? I've seen them somewhere before, but can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Uh. <gasps> the 16th student! Strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like it was shaking my brain back and forth. And then... Darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Yeah. Ow. Apparently something hit me, and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. That's why I didn't like him finding this secret room. Yeah, he had the Monokuma mask and everything. Empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone! It's all gone! Here, books, the student registry, and the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? My brain refused to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Slamo! My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Somehow I made it back to the first floor of the school. <sighs> the further I walked, the more I felt things were getting blurry. Can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. But after that... Hmm? But from a vast distance, I heard a sound. Faint, but undeniable. A body being dragged across the floor. So, coming from the gym? I just hold my shaky frame toward the gym. The sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? Can't be nothing. <gasps> You're in the gym? Is it the mastermind? Didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. Oh. Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. No. One side's not human, that's for sure, but... Regardless, I couldn't stop staring. To move or to Why me. you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This Ooh. wasn't part of the deal. Ah, so Sakura was the the traitor. A deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. But you do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be Masterman's spy is... Next Generation Legends, Dantal Galactic Hero. 
is complete. To be continued! So we've got the trader. Got items. Super Rama Justice! Guess we'll save the data. Save it right there. There are threes a crowd. Alright. Now this is a Leon killed Sayaka. You know what? Actually, I've been streaming quite a bit longer lately, so I think today we'll call it a little bit earlier. Because that's that's perfect ending. The chapter just finished. And this way we don't get too into it, because I know that's what's going to happen. We just saved. And I'm going to end up playing, I'm going to be like, oh, what's happening next? That's going to be terrible. <laughs> so thank you so much, everybody, for coming out today. I appreciate that. Let's take a look and see. Hmm, excuse me. Nobody especially is really live right now. We'll see it there. So tomorrow will I be here? No, I will not be. No. Next will be Saturday. And... However, however... I know that you work on weekends, and that's fine. But I guess I'll announce it here. I'm going to be making a message in Discord as well as on Twitter as well that for the month of August, I'm doing an event with the Curly Crew streamers where we're going to be playing Elder Scrolls Online on Saturdays. So Mondays and Wednesdays, I will still be doing Danganronpa. We'll be continuing through Danganronpa 1, and if we finish it, we will be going on to Danganronpa 2. So we're still continuing the franchise playthrough. Just for the month of August on Saturdays is when I'll be doing the ESO with them. So this way, we still got the Danganronpa going on. Plus, if anybody's getting a little bit tired of that, there's a little bit of something else. If you're not into ESO, perfectly fine. Got Monday, oops. We still got the Mondays and Wednesdays for you. Not further than you've ever been. <gasps> Excellent. Good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it so far, so thank you once again, Cheese, for recommending this game to me. It's It's been real, a lot of fun. But anyways, you all have yourselves a wonderful night, and hopefully we'll see you Saturday. As always, you can follow me on Twitter. I've got YouTube, but I put up all the VODs, and there, my Discord link is right there as well. You have yourselves a good night. We'll catch you next time. Stupid, 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 stupid